the last example, so um, adding these decimals together, we have 8 and 215 dollars and 49 cents and 75 cents. So remember the rule when we add or subtract decimals is to line up the decimal point. That's very, very important. Now when we have a whole number without, that's not showing a decimal point, then we can place a decimal point at the end of it. So just because it's not showing a decimal point does not mean it does not have one. So this is eight point, and then I can add zeros to it. Eight dollars is the same thing as 8.00, right? And then I'm going to add 215 and 49 cents. Now I'll line up the decimal point. So it's gonna go two, one, five, point. 49, and then 75 cents here is going to be point, or zero point, 75. Okay. I'm going to add these all up together. Okay, so 9 plus 5 is 14. Okay, so 1 plus 5, or I'm sorry, 1 plus 4 is 5. 5 plus 7 is 12. Okay. Bring down the decimal point come straight down, okay? And then 1 plus 8 is 9, plus 5 is 14, 1 plus 1, 2, and 2. Now we're adding money together, so don't forget your dollar sign, okay? And this is your answer, okay? So um, $8 plus $215.49 plus 75 cents becomes $224.24, okay? So that's it for this lesson on adding and subtracting decimals. Thank you for watching Educator.com.